I'm gonna share with you how we set up a trailer to take along our little dog, Hazel. So you can see here we have the porta crate and we have the burly cargo trailer. You can see here that it fits nicely right in the trailer. Good day folks, I'm Tim, and you're watching The Adventures of Two-Wheel Tim. I see in a lot of e-bike chat rooms people asking about how to hook up a trailer to their bike so they can take their dog along. And I've also had a few questions come up from my viewers who have seen us trailer our dog along with us. So in today's video, I'm gonna share with you how we set up a trailer to take along our little dog, Hazel. Many, many years ago, Elaine had a dog crate for her dog, Chester. He was a chocolate lab that weighed about 60 to 65 pounds. And when he was younger, he used to run alongside the bike. He used to go along trails. He used to be able to hold his own. But as he got older, he was no longer able to keep up. It was just too hard on him. She started thinking about ways to take Chester along with her on the bike. And she started to do some research in trailers. And as she was researching trailers, she found a burly flatbed cargo trailer. And this trailer just happened to have about the same dimensions as the blue porta crate that she had for Chester. So she took Chester's blue porta crate and she strapped it into this burly flatbed cargo trailer. And because the burly flatbed cargo trailer holds up to 100 pounds, it easily held the 20 pound crate and the 65 pound dog. And as Chester advanced in age, we trailered him along with us. So a couple months after Chester died back in 2014, we found Hazel at a rescue shelter. And she's a sprightly little 30 pound terrier mix that loves to go along on the bike with us. And so we basically just took Chester's trailer and Chester's crate and we just put Hazel in it and started taking Hazel with us. But over the past few years, this blue porta crate started to wear out in the mesh and on the corners and whatnot. So we decided to go ahead and purchase a new porta crate. And so I started to do some research to purchase a new porta crate and found one on Amazon for $62. Uh, it's a foldable crate. It's actually much lighter than the original versions of these crates and so it really trimmed off some of the weight that the original porta crate had it has a really nice aluminum base that provides almost a roll cage if you will it's a perfect size for hazel and it fits the burly flatbed cargo trailer perfectly the burly flatbed cargo trailer has multitude of uses it retails for 299 dollars burly does make a dog specific trailer called a bark ranger and the large size that holds up to 100 pounds retails for 700 dollars it does convert into a dog stroller, but that's not what we were ever looking for in a trailer for our dog. We just needed a trailer to pull him along. So let's go out and I'll show you how compact this porta crate is, how it folds open, attaches to the trailer, and then maybe we'll take a little demo ride. All right, so you can see here we have the porta crate and we have two 32 inch heavy duty green bungees with plastic hooks. And we have the burly cargo trailer. It's 20 inches wide at the base. It's 32 inches long from front to back. And the wall stand about seven inches tall. We added a couple of light and motion tail lights that are extremely bright for night riding. Opening the pet crate is quite easy. You just unclip these clips over here. It folds up. There are aluminum rails inside that fold open and attach to one another, like so. It gives it a nice, solid, secure frame, providing stability, keeping it up. Very solid, very light. It has the little sunroof here that you can zip and unzip, and it rolls open and will actually Velcro open if you want to leave it open for your pet. We oftentimes do leave it open with Hazel, and it has a mesh door in the back. Securing it in the trailer is actually quite easy. You can see here that it fits nicely right in the trailer. And we just take the two bungees, hook it around the railing of the trailer here. It runs parallel with the aluminum frame, which keeps it nice and secure. Hook it down around the other side. We always turn the hooks outward just so they don't dig into the sides of the crate. Get it positioned. And we do the same with the front. Get it into position and we have a nice secure and light traveling system for hazel for hazel's comfort we add this padded dog bed it just fits right in the base and we also have another snug little pillow inside of a pillowcase for her 
so it just gives her a nice comfortable space to ride. It has mesh vented windows on either side and a mesh front window to give her good air circulation. All right, so that's Hazel's Porta Crate and that's our burly flatbed cargo trailer. Mind you, that cargo trailer is very old. It's probably 15, 16 years old. And the new versions have uh, new quick release wheels and have made some upgrades. I'm sure they're just a little bit lighter in weight, uh, but it's still a nice trailer and it still works really well for us. The cargo trailer connects just about every one of our bikes from Elaine's old school Schwinn beach cruiser to her old school Le Mans Buenos Aires road bike to her Bike Tricks Juggernaut Hub Duo. And I've even connected it to my Bike Tricks Juggernaut Ultra Beast 2. Now I will say that the burly hitch does attach to most axles. As you can see on Elaine's road bike, it's just a standard quick release and it attaches no problem. And the axle on her Hub Duo is just a standard threaded axle. Uh, on my Ultra Beast 2, because it's a through axle, it was actually too big for the burly type hitches. As you may have seen in my burly Nomad cargo trailer video, I had to purchase a separate burly axle um, made for through axle bikes where the hitch attaches and it works perfectly. And it works for all the burly lines of trailers. The burly hitches should connect to most frames, but you have to be really careful because it doesn't connect to all frames. As an example, on my Surly Disc Trucker, the way the seat and the chain stays come together on the dropouts, there's just not enough room to fit the burly hitch. And so I've never been able to pull a trailer. I'm sure that I could purchase a separate axle, but I just don't have a desire really to pull a trailer on my Surly Disc Trucker. There may be other trailers out there that suit your needs. I'm not specifically endorsing Burley and I'm not sponsored in any way. It just happens to be the brand that I have chosen for both our pet trailer and for my cargo trailer. But as always, do your research. Make sure you're getting a trailer that hitches appropriately to your bike. I've seen a lot of people ask about trailers that mount to the seat post of the bike, but I'm not a huge advocate of the seat post mounting trailers because it really raises up that center of gravity and brings that weight a bit higher. I prefer to have the axle mounted trailers because it really lowers the center of gravity, puts the weight all the way back to the end of the bike. And so when you're pulling cargo, whether it's your pet or your child, you really feel minimal impact on that cargo as you're pulling it. And so for me, axle mounted trailers work the best. I'm not an advocate of the seat post mounted trailers. Okay, that's enough talk. I think Elaine and Hazel are ready to go. So let's just take you out. We'll get Hazel loaded up and we'll just take it for a spin and show you the trailer in action. So let's go. That about does it. I hope you found this video informative. If you like what you saw, please don't forget to subscribe, like, ring the bell for notifications, and feel free to leave your comments and questions below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.